still feel like I got a little motion in the bus going on. We left Thursday and just got back last night, so it was quite a trek. And of course, I had to throw in some snow and slippery roads and stuff. But uh, through the movies and everything, we survived. Um, our game against Billings, we were really excited to play them because we played them so closely last year, and we got off to a slow start. We couldn't hit, and uh, they were ready for us. Um, they broke and broke and broke on us, and then they've got a All-American player, a junior Knudsen girl, I think I mentioned her the other day. Um, our goal is to hold her to half her points, which she was averaging 19, and she had nine at halftime, so that wasn't working out so well. But um, we did get the game back to six points, seven points several times, and just going back and forth the last seven minutes, um, we uh, threw some very poor passes, which resulted into layups. And from then on, it was it was kind of tough. But uh, kids played hard. Um, I can't say we all played smart, but they played um, not as well as you've seen them play. And so we know we can do better. We'd love to play them again. We can't seem to get them down here on our own court. We're playing them up there again next year. And they were supposed to come down, but it just doesn't work out. Darn, yeah. So uh, we watched the guys play on Saturday. A good game against Rocky Mountain and cheered them on to victory. And then we moved over to Dickinson. And if you've been there, it's a small little... Um, how do I describe it? It's more high school type gym with uh, the boosters right there among you, and some of them are even roughing. No, I don't want to say that. Um, but it felt like it. But the kid, we told the kids exactly how it was going to go, and it did. Um, they came out uh, first half. We had a number of fouls. I think large amount of fouls compared to their three. So we uh, changed things up, went into our zone, and. Uh, kids did a good job with it, uh, took away some of the things that they were doing and just took hold of the game. We finally got Hillary back on track and finally got Katie back, which was great. She played phenomenal all weekend, and uh, we're blessed to have her. We've got uh, a couple games down in Arizona this coming weekend. We're going to take that Allegiant flight down Friday morning, play two games back-to-back and then come back early Monday morning. So that'll be fun. Um, if we get a chance, if the weather's decent, we're going to take the kids up to the Grand Canyon and uh, try to do something spectacular for them because they are a good bunch. And uh, freshmen are come along. They don't have any handprints on their throat yet, so that's always a good indicator. Um, after we come back, though, I mean, we go play... Wyoming and Colorado State, uh, Fort Hayes, which they're ranked like, I don't know, 10th or something. And uh, go over to Kearney again, and I'm sure they'll be welcoming us there. So I hope the kids stay in shape. We'll definitely try to influence them that way. And, uh, you know, part of this whole thing, getting the kids online with what we do is because of senior leadership. And today we have one of our senior leaders, uh, Katie Strandholm. Katie, come on up. Katie is a program changer. Um, I watched her play in high school, and my source said that all the kids were already going places, so I didn't pursue it. Then I find out she went to a junior college because she had decided she wasn't going to play anymore. And um, again, saw her playing at the junior college level, and so blessed and thankful that she came our way these last two years. I, I wish I could have had her those first ones, but seriously, she's she's been our spark plug. She's been what we were missing. She is a program changer, and we love her. So tell them where you're from, what your major is, and you know any other little thing that you want to mention. Um, well, I'm Katie. I'm from Sheridan, Wyoming. I'm majoring in IS for physical therapy. Um, I guess I just applied to PT schools this fall, so I'm just waiting till like January or February to find out if I got accepted. Um, <laughs> no. I hope. No. <laughs> um, 
we're a lot more athletic, which is awesome because I feel like um, any of the girls can play really any position. We're fast. We have the skills, and um, it just allows for uh, more opportunities for our team. So, any other questions? Um, I was in Gillette at Gillette College. It was um, I was part of the first year program, so uh, we were all freshmen that year, and it was it was difficult, but um, we did pretty good. So we kind of set the tone there with playing. So. Um, yes, uh, I recently got engaged this summer and we're planning our wedding for uh, this summer. So just trying to get all the plans ready and stuff, but uh, my fiance is doing a pretty good job since I don't have a lot of time with basketball, so I wasn't going to let that get in the way. I promise coaches that. So. <laughs> Um, yes, his name's Dusty Daniels. Uh, he goes to school here. He's a senior uh, civil engineer. So, yes. It's it's good. I think being a part of athletics really keeps me on top of my academics, so I don't get behind. It kind of forces you to. Um, keep up with school so you can be eligible to play. So um, I think if I didn't have athletics, I might not be on top of it as much. So it's it's good. It's it's hard, but I mean it. Um, it shows you how to balance good things in life, and it helps. <laughs> Steve was the first player in high school. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Play against some of her teammates last night. And, uh, mm -hmm. We're going to see some more down at Wyoming. So we'd like mm -hmm. to deliver a surprise. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. Yep.